day we was leaving, we was done. Then she said, can my people scum? Greetings. I, Master Curry One, have returned with my assistant Lord Sauron to demonstrate to you, people, how to make our famous rocket fuel. This is very good, as it is used for making rockets. And smoke bombs. That's right, they're very good for smoke bombs, since they let off a lot of smoke as well. Now, you shall need a scale, a, a cup or something to store your fuel in, one that seals from oxygen, because as you can see, if oxygen gets to your fuel, it'll screw it up. Also, a good whisker or blender. This one's at 7,000 watts. Uh, house sugar, which is obtained from your house. It's two spoons and potassium nitrate, which is very good because, you know, it's like the main component. We've decided to buy 25 kilos. This batch contains 13% KNO2, nitrogen 13%, nitrate nitrogen, NO, NO3, soluble potash, KO2O, 46%, potassium K, which is 38%. And it is very good, because it's an oxidizing agent, 5.1. First thing you want to do is to get your cup on the scale and adjust the scale so it is on zero. We need very precise quantities here. Okay. Now, you shall, be, you shall need some your house sugar first. The pure ratios are six, 35 to 65 of the sugar 35 and the potassium nitrate 65. But you can multiply that in case we are to 70 to 130. So we need 70 grams of sugar. Okay, that's about 70 grams. Don't worry, we are very precise when it comes to crap like this. Next, get your potassium nitrate. And you shall need, depending on your ratio, ours is uh, um, 130 grams. So in total, we're making 200 grams of rocket fuel. Grams. 200. Isn't it Fernando? Because you said 100 and something and then you said 160. 130 plus 70? No, oh, I thought you said 160 plus 100. Oh, we were going to do that, but... That's about 200 grams of rocket fuel. Actually... No, it isn't. I'm drinking. <laughs> Whoa! Shit. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> oh, look at the scale, it's all on the scale. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? We encountered a few technical difficulties, as you can see, but we've perfectly measured our 200 grams and. Now we're going to show you the next stage, which is grinding it into fine dust. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Connect your power source. Now, once this is mixed, this is very, very um, flammable. So you might want to do it somewhere safe, where there's no electric currents or high temperatures of any sort. Or open fires. Okay, now, start blending. I'll hold that. That's the mix. Has not been edited while we cut the film. <laughs> now, this is what you do. You stick it in and you grind. Until it's a fine powder, which might take a while depending on how much you're making. When you are done, you will have a very fine powder. Now it is ready. Here is a small sample we have prepared for your entertainment. Okay, hit it. Whoa!